All right, let's solve this equation together. It says 4 raised to the power x minus 2 is equal to 20. We are required to find x. Okay, so the first thing we say is that we can express 4. So I can say 4 here can be written to be equal to 2 raised to the power 2. Okay, my reason is because 2 times 2 is 4, so 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. Now, 20 on the other hand, so I can write 20 to be equal to what? 20 is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 times 5. Okay, because 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, now moving on, I can replace 4 and 20 with this in this equation. So let me go ahead and do that now. So I can say 4 is 2 squared. So I write 2 squared all raised to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 20 is equal to 2 squared times 5. Alright? Now, from here, when you have an expression in the form of a raised to the power m all raised to the power of n, it becomes equal to a raised to the power of m multiplied by n, which is mn. Okay? So this one, 2 raised to the power 2 or raised to the power x becomes equal to 2 raised to the power 2x minus 4 to be equal to 2 squared times 5. Alright? Now, 2 raised to the power 2x minus 4 can be expressed as 2 raised to the power 2x divided by 2 raised to the power 4 is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 times 5 okay now in order to eliminate this division we multiply both sides by 2 raised to the power of 4 okay so if we multiply both sides by 2 raised to the power of 4 we can eliminate this okay so we say multiply 2 by 2 raised to the power 4 Okay, so multiplying through by 2 raised to the power 4, we now have times 2 raised to the power 4 on this side and this side times 2 raised to the power 4. Okay, 2 raised to the power 4 is right 2 raised to the power 4 on this side, so they have 2 raised to the power 2x, okay, to be equal to 2 raised to the power 2 times 2 raised to the power 4 is equal to 2 raised to the power 2 plus 4, which is 6 times 5. Alright? Now, the next step is to take the logarithm in the base of the number carrying the variable. Okay, so the number carrying the variable is 2, so we take the logarithm of this. So we have the logarithm in base 2 of 2 to the power of 2x is equal to the logarithm in base 2 of 2 to the power 6 times 5. Okay. Now, logarithm to base 2 of 2 to the power of 2x can be written as 2x multiplied by logarithm base 2 of 2, okay? Because when the a number that is taking the, when you're taking the log of a number and the number is raised to, power, raised to the power, you multiply the power times the log, alright? So we now have this to be equal to, when you have multiplication, you add. So we say logarithm of 2 raised to the power of 6 in base 2 plus logarithm of 5 in base 2. Now, logarithm of any number in its own base is 1. So, logarithm of 2 in its base, which is 2, is 1. So, we have 1 times 2x, which is 2x, is equal to, the same thing I say there, 6 multiplied the log. So, we have 6 times logarithm of 2 in base 2 is 1. So, we have 6 plus logarithm of 5 base 2. Okay? But this is 2x. So finding x will now be equal to 6 plus logarithm of 5 in base 2 all over 2. Hence so our x now becomes equal to 6 divided by 2 is 3 plus okay, logarithm of 5 in base 2 all over 2. Okay, so this becomes our final answer to this question. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.